Eric, we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you very much. Now to a heartbreaking twist in the crash that killed a new father on his way home from the hospital. WBZ has confirmed police were chasing the driver that crashed into Kevin Quinn. And the DA now admits that that driver should have been behind bars. WBZ's Anaritis Rodriguez is live in studio with us tonight with the very latest. Anaritis? Liam and Paula, that driver was 22 year old Mickey Rivera. He was also killed in this crash. We've learned he was arrested last month on charges of driving drunk. He was also due in court today for a pretrial hearing in connection to an armed robbery. A tragedy that could have possibly been prevented. WBZ has learned the man accused of causing a head-on crash that killed a 32-year-old Marine was being chased by police moments before he lost control of his car. Mickey Rivera and Kevin Quinn were killed in the crash. Rivera's passenger was seriously injured. Quinn was on his way home from Cape Cod Hospital after meeting his newborn daughter. And he was so proud to be a dad. WBZ has also learned that Rivera was charged in connection to a deadly armed robbery in Fall River in 2015. His bail was set at $35,000, but months later, a judge reduced it to $1,000. Then last month, state police arrested Rivera in Barnstable. This is audio from his arraignment the next day. Allegation June the 3rd in the town of Barnstable, you operated a motor vehicle under the influence of liquor. It also alleges operating a motor vehicle under the influence of a drug. Rivera was released on personal recognizance. Prosecutors say they did not have enough information on his open case in Bristol County. Does the Commonwealth have any request in Mr. Rivera's case? Co Commonwealth requests a bill warning, Your Honor. The district attorney for the Cape and Island says a new prosecutor was assigned to Rivera's case and they didn't get enough information from Bristol County in time for the arraignment. WBZ legal analyst Jennifer Roman says that this is a collapse in communication. At a minimum, there should have been a request that he be held over for the Bristol County Court so that they could address a potential bail revocation slash violation of probation. Um, it didn't happen here. The DA for the Cape and Island says the prosecutor was talked to by an immediate supervisor. He says that they were inexperienced and tells us that a terrible lesson was learned by all from this case. Liam? Devastating story. Anna Rodriguez, thank you very much.